So, good morning. Um, different assembly today because I've run out of ideas and I've had quite a difficult week. So I thought um, I'm just going to um, do what I was going to do and record it and see whether or not we can get some sort of decent assembly out of it. So, what I'm going to do is record me baking, because I don't bake. I used to cook a little bit, but I don't cook very much more. And then there is a moral to this as to quite why it is that I'm baking. And we'll see whether or not what I make is any good. Um, I'm going to make three things. One because it looks dead easy. One because I've got the ingredients. And one because if I don't use the bananas up, they're going to have to go in the bin anyway. And I've no idea how to make any of these things. I've never made them before. So we'll just have to wait and see and find out what happens. It's asking for puff pastry. I have no idea, no idea what to do with this. A little look. Right up. Okay. All right. It's rolled along. Here we go. How much of this do I need? I need a puff pastry, 350 grams. Well, I've got to do some maths now. Here we go. 350 grams. How much is this way? 375. Oh, I'm using all of it. Okay. Ooh. That's a bit scary. Right. Puff pastry. Have a come. Oops, it's breaking up. I don't know if it's meant to be breaking up. You can see that. It's a bit split. So I'm doing this largely to prove that I've done it to somebody. Which I'll explain at the end. I'm struggling here. Perhaps I should have read more instructions. Oh. Show you what's happening. It's all breaking up a bit. I don't like it. Come on, come on. Just something you can sort this out. How hard can it be? It's just baking, for goodness sake. Here we go. So I thought, if you, uh, if you saw me doing this, particularly if you're stuck at home for the next week or so, you might like to have a look. It's like my own cooking show. You might like to have a little go. Or you might think, nope, I'm not doing that. What a mess. So, here we go. There's a the pastry. Grated parmesan. And a handful of flour. Right, so parmesan, I've got some of that. In the fridge we have parmesan. A handful, that's not very specific, is it? A handful. What sort of measure is that? No idea. Just gonna uh, rotate this. I do have a helper. Know what we're doing. That's where, that's where Millie sits. Whenever someone's cooking, She's done some detailed study on that. That's where the food drops. So you sit in that corner, you get food. Editing away. Da, 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 da. Got a dog, dog standing on my foot. Couple of handfuls. Depends how big your hands are. You just go put in a couple of handfuls of cheese on here. I don't know how big your hands are. Let's go with that. And then it says fold in two. Okay. Singing. Mrs. Clark will tell you I sing when things are going wrong. Here we go. Yeah, right. Lightly floured. Well, uh, there's a bit of a, a bit of a rush on here because my wife is back in an hour. She's been at work, which never goes well. And um, it's her kitchen. She likes her kitchen. Doesn't like me in it. Tipped up and making a mess. So here we go. Lightly floured. Oh, cheese everywhere. <laughs> Dog's getting excited. Put that in there. Roll it out to the thickness of, what did it say? A one pound coin. I might even have a one pound coin to test that by. No, would two fifties be the same thickness as a pound, do you think? Does it work like that? I don't think it does, does it? Oh my God. I haven't got a one pound coin. Got a nosy dog, though. Got a nosy dog, right, here we go. Thickness of a one pound coin. It's too hard. Mother, it's too hard. Fair one. 
I'm going with the 250p thing. I don't think that's going to be right at all. So the point in this is I've never made it before. And it's about having a go at something new, particularly while you're stuck at home. Okay. Thickness. Thickness of a one pound coin. Sorted. So where are we going now? Cut into one centimetre strips and then twist three or four times. Mmm. Let's get some more cheese. Baked 12 minutes. Okay. Thank you, Trey. Centimetre. Oh, this is so exciting. It's more than a centimetre. Concentrate. I don't think these are all going to be the same evenness. I have watched Bake Off. Don't think that's going to help because I don't understand anything they say. They're all far too clever at it. Okay, whoops. Right, so I want one of these and one of these. But can you see what I'm doing here? No, because you've got the grater in the way, Mr. Sutton. Okay. So, I'm going to twist these along. So, put that one there. That's one here. Okay. Where being the dad with girls might actually help for once. It's a long time since I've done this with hair. Tell you what, these move around less than daughters did. There we go. That's my first one. I'm not sure about that at all. I think we need to get a bit better at this, Mr. Something. Come on. Okay, so I've had a little think. I don't think I'm doing it right. Um, I think I'm trying to do plaits and I should be doing twists. So, let's have a little go at some twists. Okay. That one in there. That looks better. Now, that looks more like food. There we go. Oh, we've got it now. We've got it now. Here we go. Let's record one more. So I've uh, got half the cheese strings in and now I've stopped because I'm a bit panicky as to whether or not I'm doing the right thing with them. So we'll make a start with the second thing I'm going to make, which is hopefully quiche. I did make a quiche once a long time ago and I seem to remember they ate it, so we'll have another go at this. So, um, pastry, 375, one onion, so you need to slice an onion, get some teaspoon oil, right, okay, can slice onions. Could you have a head camera? That would help me. Let me just see what, what's going on. There we go. singing again, Mr. Sutton. You're only chopping an onion and the pressure's getting to you. Here we go. You'll understand why there's pressure to get this right later when I tell you why I've done it. So, uh, I've lost a bet with somebody. Shouldn't gamble, bad for you. You know, there's an assembly message, don't gamble because you spend your Saturday morning cooking. So, I have uh, made an error and now I'm paying for it. So, here we go. Chop up the onion. Da, 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 da. Doing that. Use a pastry line. Don't know what that is. Fluted tart tin, haven't got one of those. Pit base with a fork. Non sticking baking beans, don't have those. Blind bait for 12 minutes, don't know what that means either. Okay, fry the onion. I'll do that bit first. I'm going to fry the onion first because I can do that. Sliced onion, okay. There we go. Okay, so I've got the oil. So the person that I've, had, I've lost my bet with uh, doesn't believe I'm going to do this, don't think. So this is kind of proving. I am actually doing the cooking myself. Although I suspect that when you see what I end up with, that'll prove why I've achieved it. There we go. Chopped onion. There we go. Just on that one. I'm trying to be clever with more than one. More than one camera going. 
could indeed be a big mistake. So here we go. Soften those. Some bacon. To add some bacon. really sure what to do in this assembly this week, whether I should do something about keeping safe or looking after the people who are at home. And I decided in the end that although, although there are some very serious things going on that people are talking about all the time, it would be nice to have an assembly that just gets on with life as normal. Although me cooking is not normal. One. cheese string. Almost edible, from my almost edible range. Okay. So, chop a few of these out and some more. Got to go back in, I think, for a few minutes. Not bad that one's now, that one's three cheese strings. That one I'm going to taste. Starving. Okay, so I'm another go at the cheese twists because it wasn't entirely massively made up. I'll show you that in a minute. Now they came out all a bit different, so have another go. One. <laughs> it's a bit of a monster one, that is. That one wasn't cooked. That one was nearly cooked. Right, I'm feeling a little bit better now. I've got some cheese strings, so I've got something that I can take into school. I'm a little bit worried. It's a lot of pressure. But I've been told when my wife comes back, A, I'm not to have spent the morning baking and there'll be nothing for her to eat. B, quite a few members of staff are baking at the moment for the same reason, that we've uh, all lost a bet and we have to bake for somebody in school. And Mrs. Sharrett has already done hers and she made the most amazing chocolate cake. Uh, doesn't count towards healthy school very much, you know. Um, from under pressure because somebody's made something delicious, and the person that I'm baking for, it's quite difficult to please. Use the pastry to line, aha, helps if you can read. You have to read and count to cook. Use a pastry, fluted tart tin with removable base. Right, we'll have to find one of those then. Okay, I found one of these. It's the only thing I can find with a removable base. I don't know if it's fluted because I don't know what that means. And I don't think it's a tart tin either. I think it's for making cake. But we'll see how we get on. Right. So I need to get some pastry to line that. Okay, you have no idea how many times I've read these instructions now. It says blind bake for 12 minutes as well, so I'm not even sure what that's about. I think that means that you don't prove it. And I think proving is when you just put it in a drawer with your socks for no reason. Proves. Interesting word, prove. I wonder where it comes from. I have no idea. Might look it up. Or might never bake again. So here we go. So do that. So no. I'm going to cut round the lid. But make it bigger than the lid. Do you know what? I don't think we're going to get a quiche at the end of this. Cut down the lid. The dog thinks he's getting something. I have to say, this is the most interest the dog has ever paid to me. So, put that in there. out of here. Ooh. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I just thought, it's just occurred to me, I should have made pizza. That would be much better. Ooh. Ah, stop it. Stop making the noises. Okay, 
first of all. Millie, you can't like courgette, surely. It's covered in garlic. Having a go anyway though. Millie's ten by the way, I know some of you met her during lockdown. Do another one? No sit. Sit. Another one? Okay. Right. Dog lights go up there, dog lights cause yet, there you go. So in the eggs. What happened was, there was a meeting and Miss Cunningham said she wasn't going to speak and no one believed her. And so Miss Cunningham said she would be as quiet for as long as people said she could be quiet. So everybody picked a different time and if Miss Cunningham was quiet for longer than you said, the forfeit is you have to bake for her. So I said that I didn't think Miss Cunningham could be quiet for more than 90 seconds. So I'm baking. Well, on Monday morning, I should be offering anything that survives Miss Cunningham to say what she thinks of. <coughs> oh, somebody the door. Excuse me. Okay, so I've answered the door. Turns out it's somebody who lives here. That'd be ridiculous. I'm leaving that in. Hey. I'm leaving that in. Leave that in. My kitchen well, looks like a bonsai. Yeah. I mean, I've got anything for lunch. Told you. Do you know what? This looks like I made it. Moderate interesting. Okay. More, f more footage to edit. Right. Okay, this is this is a moment of truth. So I'm glad to put it in a removable bottom. Oh, okay. Now it's hotter than I thought it was. Interesting. There we go. Sure, that looks a bit like a quiche. Okay, banana bread, bowl, these bowl, need some bananas, not very nice bananas, it says it would not be very nice, they are not very nice, sack, peel the bananas, Whoa. mash them up, gosh, three eggs, one, two, Looks disgusting. Flour, oh, spice, and baking powder whisk together. Pour into a prayer tin and bake 40 minutes. Well, how hard is that? Can it be this easy? I'm saying this before I've cut the quiche. I haven't looked at the quiche yet, so you actually you can eat it. If you can't, I'll have to edit out all the quiche stuff and pretend it never existed. 275 grams of flour. Yes. Flour, spice, and baking powder. I'm not sure how much needs to go in here. Got no idea what I'm doing now. Looks horrible, assuming that's a good thing. Mmm. Oh, it smells nice. 
perhaps, perhaps we should have stopped with the quiche. 